Welcome back to Easy to Spell, where the name's easy to spell, and we did it wrong anyway. If you didn't catch our last two episodes live, here's what you missed. Our hero secured an invite to an event being held at the Caelan Estate, the home of the family who Angel and Doman suspect to have collected their children. Under the moniker of the Pepperdine Peppermint, they've infiltrated the party and split up to get a lay of the land. After some dancing and smoozing, Doman was able to get the ear of Dririk Iska, a friendly business rival of Vincent Caelan, who after some prodding, let Doma know of an auction that was to take place later that evening. The sort of auction that may have what Doman is searching for. Doman, correct? Hey, Derek, I just wanted to check up on your hand and make sure everything was all right. I know that kind of a uncouth experience mm. there. It's fine. It's fine. Vincent and I have been rivals for the better part of a decade, I'd say. Kind of uncalled for bringing it out to the to the public eye there, wasn't it? Competition is what keeps us on our toes, keeps us at our best. Seems like some people might have a little bit of an edge, huh? Some people are born into it, and some people lack respect for those of us that made our own wealth. I am a firm believer that Avarice was built as and should remain a meritocracy, not this old blood money. Very few here have the courage to stand up and try to compete with Vincent. And I think it means he's going to go soft eventually. I just have to maintain my edge for longer. Jurek, we may have some common interests in um, the, uh, let's not say downfall, but the undermining of the Kaelden household. If there's anything mm -hmm. that you can help me with, I'd be happy to help you in return. I appreciate that. Can I trust you? You can. It's a matter of life and death. At 10 o'clock. Tell a servant you wish to see the antique collection. It'll lead you where you need to go. I'll see you there. With information in hand and time to kill, the party worked their way through the ball, meeting a number of powerful individuals, each who carries significant weight in the city of Avarus. Once dinner was announced, the group convened at the table and watched as one by one individuals were pulled away for some reason or other which gave our heroes the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with individuals of note, such as the power-brokering hag Agatha Thornhart, or Yasta's own brother, Balder Pepperdine. So I suppose you actually had business on mind. Questions, if nothing else. Answers could be more costly than lives. Don't have much to pay with, but I'm willing to give up most for it. What do you know about Vincent? He's a simple man. A man of inherited wealth that seeks to hold on to it. Is there something in particular that interests you? His uh, belongings. I uh, understand he's a man of money and that's how he makes his money, but I think he may have some dealings in, in your business as well, as far as names, fate, and uh, acquisitions of the flesh variety. She stands up from the chase lounge. She walks towards you, puts a hand on your chest, and the door behind you shuts. Well, now we can discuss cost. Uh, I will pull her hand off of my chest and stand up so that I'm towering over her, because I assume I do, and say, I don't even think we've discussed product yet, let alone cost. As you tower over her, she shifts. Her face becomes kind of old. The skin begins to sag and goes from that bluish gray to a deep greenish black. Secrets, dear, and secrets are worth their weight in blood. So I ask, what do you have to offer me? Make it worth my time. Yoshta? What's that? Oh, I think I drank too much. Yeah, I think so. Oh, That's where's true. Braced? He's, oh. He left you to choke on your own vomit and die. It sounds like him. Um, Listen, Dad buddy. wanted me to get close to him for when he took over the family. Do you know they, like, sell kids, right? You can't say things like that here. You really shouldn't be here. I'm just saying, Vincent's close to the church. If he catches wind, they will not let our family off as easily as they did. You have to go. I was just looking for the truth, brother. At what cost? As these conversations ended and our heroes poised themselves for whatever the auction might bring, a piercing cry echoed from the ballroom. The host, Vincent Caledon was dead, murdered by one of the guests. Join us next time as we unravel these mysteries and uncover the fate of the children of Domin and Angel. 
next time on Easy to Spell.